Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on the final day, day seven, here on Lapis Lakeside. And hopefully today is going to be a pretty good one. We did not make it very far so far. But let's see how the end of the week goes. We do have the extra benefit of it being Sunday, so maybe we get some extra tasties. But we are going to start off with 12,718 sneaky snacking. Ooh, well, you can see one of the changes I made right there. We're going to grab a small ingredient ticket for going to bed on time. And then we're also going to grab 100 sleep points for sleeping as long as we should have. I was actually very tired and overslept a little bit today. Still that even 2,600 sleep points. Kind of nice to have an even number. And then we can pick up our daily lottery, which is another biscuit, which we do need with what's coming up. And then if we jump into this sleep report, we can see, what is it, an ultra two sleep? All right, so it's gonna be kind of interesting. We got an ultra two sleep. It's not quite as much as we want, but it's not terrible. Session 225, nine hours and five minutes of sleep. You know what? We lost an hour of sleep. That's why I feel so tired. That's what it is. The stupid time change that we do for no reason. 15% dozing, 71% snoozing, and 14% slumbering. 71% snoozing, geez. Well, I think we know where that's going. And we still get a dozing type, what? 71% is definitely a huge jump in the amount of snoozing type I normally get, and yet somehow we still got dozing, even though that seemed like pretty typical, but okay. And that should be about 41 million, somewhere around there. And let's see, do we at least have a full spawn board? Still not yet. Still don't have a full spawn board, which is going to be, I think, the biggest hindrance for us if we come to Lapis for Dedenne. Not even being able to get a full eight spawns is going to make it very, um, is, is, well, let me rephrase. It's going to limit the number of potential Dedenne spawns. So, yeah. We do get in a top belly Dratini, though, which is, that's fantastic. Not gonna lie, I was looking at the Dratini, and then out of the corner of my eye, I saw the Ekans coiled up <laughs> up there, and I thought for a brief second that that was actually a shiny Dratini on top of it, but no, <laughs> just an Ekans playing games with me. We did get a Bulbasaur, a Psyduck, a Chikorita, an Ekans, a Psyduck, and another Bulbasaur. Actually, some pretty good spawns today, and a Dratini. Honestly, four of these I would like to take home, but... Uh... There goes the game crashing. So anyway, like I was saying, there are four of these that I would like to take home, but I don't want to invest the resources in right now with everything we've got coming up. There are two that are a priority over the others. Bulbasaur is probably the one that we need the least. I would like a better chance at a, uh, a non-rash Venusaur, but also a Venusaur that's honey, honey, tomato would be nice. Uh, but probably not going to do that today. That is a more long-term project. First things first, I'm not even going to use, you know what? Hold on. Nobody's hungry. Are they? No, we didn't get a single hungry. Okay. So yeah, let's, um, let's give the bonus biscuit to the Chikorita. That is probably the bigger priority over the Bulbasaur. Mm, didn't get a big hit. That's unfortunate. We're definitely going to take the Dratini home now. And then I'm not sure if I want to spend the biscuits on a Chikorita right now. Right now. It could make all the di Of course we get... Of course it happens on the Dratini that only had one pip left and not on the Chikorita where... Ah, uh, Okay. All right, well, I kind of feel like we do use the biscuits on Chikorita because if it turns out to be good, that could make a big difference if we come back to Lapis next week. I'm still on the fence about it, but maybe this will be what pushes me towards Lapis if it turns out to be good. Of course it's full. I don't even know. I, mm, 
that whole sequence of events was just the worst absolute worst are you kidding me dude <laughs> Well, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it now. Might as well just move on. At least we're gonna hit rank 50. There's that at least. Let's go ahead and send out that Dratini candy because it takes a lot to evolve a Dratini. And we are gonna pick up 2034 research XP, which does hit level 50. The big five zero, finally. The previous maximum rank, and now we still have progress to go. So that gives us one great biscuit, one dream, a medium dream cluster, I think that is, and a helper whistle, which may be very useful for uh, starting off a very good, actually, ooh, ooh, I just thought about this. Those helper whistles might be a good way to start off the Raikou event. If you go somewhere, uh, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. We have to go to green grass, but the time's four on Monday for the good sleep day. You could throw in some helper whistles and be really cheeky. Mmm. I don't know if I would spend any sleep points to do it, but if you've got some backup helper whistles, maybe that's a time to use them. We also got 4,320 dream shards. Got a little distracted with a cheeky thought. Let's go ahead and check out this Dratini. It's level 13 and bashful. Ooh, is bashful good? I don't recall. Ooh, buddy. That is a pretty good ingredient spread right there. It's good for now. Uh, maybe we take this to the late game. I think late game, just for balancing sake, I would like a fire, an herb, herb, corn, just to get an even amount of both roughly. Uh, but this is actually really good for what we want. Let's hope everything else turns out good. Charge energy is you know what we'd love to see. That's a blue. Oh, Helping Speed M is a great start. Helping Speed S is also good. It's kind of redundant, but it's good. Inventory up. Ooh, ooh, more redundancy. Inventory up S and M. All right. Come on, I just need an ingredient finder. Mm, it's blue. Inventory up at, wow. <laughs> okay, so we got all the Helping Speed except for bonus and then all the inventory up. <laughs> All right, so what is this? Uh, what's this nature gonna turn out to be? It's bashful, which is neutral. Ooh, so not super great. One thing I did want to point out, I think this is the case. I've experimented with it a little bit. Uh, still needs further experimentation. But if you click on your settings, and then you come down to the cooking section, section, the cooking section, and click X on the meals. I believe that whenever you calculate the Pokemon, it no longer takes the cooking schedule into account for the outcome. So you can get a neutral result without taking the meals into account. So I think that's what's happening. It does seem to be more of what I was looking for. I mean, that's a pretty nice Dratini. Let's see if we can get a quick return on its full readout. Um, again, unfortunately, I mean, this thing is going to have a ton of space. I could go the entire two days without checking it and come back with a ton of corn. Um, yeah, 70, a PR of 70 at level 60, which is good. It's actually good enough to invest in. Uh, definitely going to hold on to it. I'm pretty sure it's better than both the Dragonair and the previous Dratini that we had. The Dragonair we had was all herbs, which is good in the right situation. So I think I'm still gonna hold on to it. 95 at 75, that's surprising. But that does put it at a PR of 73. I'm gonna let that run in the background while we go ahead and move on. We're definitely gonna keep this one. So let me just go ahead and throw it in the box, level 13. And boom, job done. And then I'm just gonna switch back over and I will let you know once that finishes calculating. I actually tried to run a calculation on Venusaur the other day to level 100. I let it run for like 14 hours and it never finished. So there's definitely some issues with trying to get level 100 calculations. It works most of the time, but it still does trip up every now and then. Another 146 sneaky snacking. And then we can go ahead and jump into this. Oh, we got a medal. No new news, which is not surprising given everything going on. 
And then let's see what metal we got. 70 incenses used. I did use a recovery incense yesterday just to get a little extra boost for those in the box that uh, weren't completely full. That's an energy pillow, which is very nice. Energy pillows could come in useful for that first good sleep day as well. And then let's check the community reports. We should have about 43. 46, very nice. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, ten that doubled up. Just shy of 20%. That is a level up. Good for a small ingredient ticket. Very good. Okay, so some of you have pointed out that I only have 47 out of 50 friends. And I think you know what that means. Everybody on my friends list right now is staying active. A lot of these people on the friends list are you guys. You might even see your name as I scroll through here. But I do need three more friends, especially with the Ryko event coming up. So it is that time again. Drop your friends code in the comments below, and I will add the first three people that I see to my friends list. On top of that, we did find out last time that if you sort the comments by newest first, you will be able to see everyone else's friend codes. So even if you're not one of the first three, go ahead and drop your code anyway. You can get more friends from the community and we can build this research community together. I'm really, I was really hoping they'd give us more friend space with the recent updates. Still haven't got there yet. Hopefully soon we'll be able to get 75, 100 friends. That would be nice, uh, but we may be a ways off of that. But for now, like I said, first three friend codes that I see are the ones I'm gonna add but you can add each other. So let's go ahead and build this thing up and we'll get it going together. Especially now that we know some of these events are gonna give us benefits for having level five friends. It is going to be very good for us to uh, build this community together. So that said, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything from Bayleaf and Primate because I think they have done all they can do for us this week. I'm going to swap them out for some ingredient gatherers just to try to build up a healthy stock for next week. And I'm probably only gonna cook twice today, maybe. It depends on how it goes. If we get an extra tasty right now and it just barely puts us over into Ultra 3, I may just hold off. I don't really see much benefit to like really grinding out to Ultra 4 today. So let's see, Ultra 3 will give us, I think it'll give us the incense. I'll check that here in a minute, but I think Ultra 3 might be as far as we really need to go. Um, oh, that's right, I forgot I wanted to make something new. So first things first, the calculation on the Dratini did finish. 75 PR, not bad at all for this Dratini. So definitely gonna be keeping that. But I'm making a brand new recipe today. Let me go ahead and pull that up because I don't remember what goes into it other than corn. Cool, all right, so choose a recipe, no recipe. And then we need, where's it at? 22 oil. And then we need 17 corn, which that is, uh, that's one. Pokemon I'm gonna put it on the team because I want to try to have a healthy supply of corn for next week because these corn recipes are actually seeming to be very very good and then we need nine potatoes Cool. we are uh, living the dream now all right so what do we want to fill in the rest of this with I say we have so many slowpoke tails that we're just hardly ever using anymore let's go ahead and throw in um, Let's do 13 of them. That'll leave us with an even 40. I like that. Let's do 10 cacao. And we'll do, uh, let's do 10 herbs. It's not too bad. Oh no, let's not do that. We don't want to do that. So only nine herbs is exactly why you want to make sure that preview box is checked when you're doing a new recipe. Because the last thing you want is to get a recipe you are not trying to make. And I think we can go ahead and throw in the rest potatoes. Victory Bell's really good about bringing in potatoes, so we should have plenty for the rest of the day and hopefully have a healthy supply starting next week. But there we are, brand new recipe, only 20% chance, so didn't get the extra tasty, but that's still 21,462 on the green grass salad 
for the first cook, not too bad. That should put it at about a level 11-ish, maybe 10? Yeah, 10. Well, that's an easy, there we go. And just like that, green grass salad is already better than slowpoke tail pepper salad, which I have at level 23. A level 10 green grass salad, so much better. Granted, a lot of that's because it's 62 ingredients instead of 35, but not really the point. Other than the fact that I can't make it except for on Sundays. I really want to get to uh, that new sleep dex goal pretty quickly because I was, I want to get the ninja salad to be where we can make it consistently. It will take four team members to get all those ingredients unless we spend a week prepping and just build up a little bit over time. Um, mm, that didn't even put us to ultra four or three. I mean, wow. Okay. Well, that happened. Let's go ahead and grab those berries and then let's check ultra three. Oh no, Ultra 3 only gives us the Dream Cluster. For some reason, I was thinking we got the Dratini Incense at Ultra 3. Yeah, so we're definitely not getting the Dratini Incense. I'm not worried about the Dream Shards from cooking. So I think... I think I'm just going to take the rest of the day and not make any meals and just stock up on some ingredients just to be ready for next week because we don't have a lot of ingredients. Let's see, how many did we have? I didn't even look how many we had left over. Um, we have 221. We do have a decent amount, but not nearly as much as I would like. The really hard part is trying to figure out what ingredients are the best to stock up on just to be prepared for any meal choice that comes up. I know corn is a good one. I think potatoes are pretty good. Let's see, we got 20 diamonds for the green grass salad, which is always nice. But yeah, we want corn on the team for sure. Corn seems to be very helpful, so we're gonna break out our beware. Go ahead and swap out meganium. And where are you at, buddy? All the way at the bottom, there we go. Put the beware on the team. Um, Victory Bell I want on the team. Oil, I think oil is actually good because that gives us, uh, that's for popcorn. Yes, so popcorn is corn, oil, and milk. And then that's, that's desserts covered. Salads, uh, I think the best thing we could do, mm. salads are rough. Apples would be nice, but I think Having Blastoise on the team to get us some milk and cocoa might be even better. Uh, plus, ingredient magnet if it triggers is really good. Salads are rough. And then for, yeah, for curries, we definitely want Blastoise for the milk and cocoa. Because the limber corn stew is pretty decent. It's not the best thing we can make, but it's a solid recipe that we can prepare for and at least get the week started with if we do get cur curries. So, honestly, I'd like to get the spicy leek curry going, but we'll have to see how things go. So, uh, I did not mean to hit back. Let's go back to edit team, silly. And let's swap in our Blastoise and hopefully get some solid milk and cocoa up and running. You, did I hit back? No, okay. So you get sausage at level 30, which is unfortunate, but not the worst thing. It's actually going to go pretty decent with hurries if we need to. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, I think this is what I'm going to run with for the rest of the day. Probably not going to cook anything. Don't really see a point in cooking anymore this week. Ultra 3, not too bad. We were only predict predicted to hit Ultra 2. We can just stock up the ingredients and make sure that we have a, hopefully a good head start next week going into Dedenne. But that said, that is what I've got for today. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later dudes.